In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 uh, or 83 family of graphing calculators to calculate the derivative of a function at a given x value. So the first thing that you want to do is hit this y equals here, and it's going to take you into your function plotter. So we're going to, let's go ahead and graph the function uh, x cubed, so x cubed. Uh, make sure you hit the right arrow so you get back to that base level. Um, plus 3x squared, and then let's go minus 5. So if you hit graph, you'll see the nice graph there. Um, if I wanted to calculate my the slope of my tangent line, my derivative at say x equals negative 1 here, then I can use from the graphing uh, screen, or it'll take me to the graphing screen, I can use um, the calculate options, so second trace in the calculate options to calculate the derivative. So hit second trace to get you into the calculate. And we're trying to calculate the derivative, so that's going to be the dy uh, dx, so the derivative of y with respect to x. So choose option six. And then from here, you could use your arrow keys and kind of try and tab over to where x is negative one. But to be more exact, we can type in the x value of negative one. So remember, if you're typing in a negative, use this symbol for the negative. Don't use the subtraction. Otherwise, you're going to get a syntax error. So do negative 1, hit enter, and it gives you this value here. So it's telling me the slope of my tangent line at negative 1 is negative 2.9999999, right? And I'm going to make the assertion that this is actually negative 3. Uh, the, re the way that the graphing calculator actually calculates the tangent line is actually by using, um, it actually uses average rate of change and it picks two points that are super, super, super close to, uh, to each other around the x value that you're given. And it uses that to calculate the, uh, to calculate the slope of your tangent line. So it's not always perfectly accurate, but it gives you the general idea of what you should get there. So this is how to do it from the graphing part itself. There's also a way to do it from the main screen. So when you're on the main screen uh, and you can use these math options. So if you go to math and we wanna calculate the derivative, so it's this here, n deriv. So that's option eight. Uh, and it in the newer software, it's going to open up this, um, this format. So you're taking the derivative with respect to x. So define your variable that you're differentiating with respect to. Here's where you type your function. So you say x cubed, and then tab over, 3x squared plus 3x squared minus 5. And then you tell us what value you want to find the derivative at. So you can say negative 1, and we would get the same output there. Um, another thing that's kind of nice is you can actually use the functions that you've defined here in y equals in this mode here. So if I want to calculate the derivative of my same function that I have defined here in y1, in y sub 1, I can say, okay, the derivative with respect to x of, and I want to input my function y1 here. So there's two ways to get to that. Um, you can go into this vars button, click vars, and you're going to toggle over to y vars, it's the variables, and we're graphing in functions. Uh, and so we could graph y1. So take the derivative of y1 at negative 1. Hit enter, and voila, it gives us the same thing because our definition for y1 is the same as what we have there. Another way to access these y1 variables, again, in the new operating system, is you can hit alpha trace, and it pops up this, uh, this menu bar, and you just choose option 1 for y1 and you could have taken the derivative there, right? So math option eight with respect to x, alpha trace, choose option one for y1 with respect to x at negative one, hit enter, boom, we get the same thing. Um, if you have the older operating system, you're not gonna get this nice kind of layout. So if you have like an older TI-83 plus or something like that, uh, it's gonna look a little bit different. And the way that you'll enter it is gonna be like this. So I can kind of show you a little bit what that will look like. Um, so actually, if you guys go into the catalog and you find something here, if you're not sure about the 
a way that you should be inputting information into this um, this option. If you hit the plus button, it gives you more information about what this would do. So if you have the older operating system, it's gonna look like this. So it'll be n derivative, and then you can plug in first your expression. So that's where we'd put in our function. So you'd say x cubed um, plus 3x squared minus five. Then you have to put a comma, so the comma is right here. The variable you're integrating with respect to, so we're integrating with respect to x, put another comma, and then your value that you're going to be evaluating at. So we're evaluating at negative one. Close your parentheses, and then if you, so this is what you would see in the older, uh, older notate um, operating system, but when you hit enter, boom, it's automatically, since it's the new operating system, it puts it into all that form that we've already seen and we should get the same result. So that's kind of how you would calculate the derivative at a given value using a TI-83 or 84 family of graphing calculators.